um, Photoshop it's a good program for making layouts and today I'm gonna show you how to make a really professional one it's not gonna be long maybe eight minutes around that so uh, what was that I'm oh, sorry about that uh, let's get started alright uh, so you're gonna wanna change this cuz I know you don't want it to be black I mean if you do alright but looks better if you do what I do alright right click on background copy blending options and just check these boxes to your liking I'm gonna change on or turn on drop shadow and gradient overlay and then you're done with this part uh, and now I wouldn't move it if I were you actually you're not done uh, blending options again if you want to give it a good uh, outline just click outer glow that way you can see the ah oh, crap that was a failure outer glow and then okay that way you can see the outline and you won't you know mess up or anything uh... so now we're gonna uh... i'm sorry about that i keep saying uh... we're gonna add some icons so you're gonna open your browser go to google and then images type in any one you want i'm gonna do twitter and don't click on the picture because you can get viruses that way uh, right click and then copy image. Alright, now go to Photoshop, Control V, and now you got the image on there. But you're gonna wanna take the white background away, so you're gonna click the eraser tool right here and right click it and then back background eraser tool. You're gonna click the sides to take it away. And you can size the tool and make it bigger by this up here, this black dot. I'm gonna keep it at 191. It's a good one. Um, yeah. All right. So now you're gonna click this to select it, and now you can move it anywhere you want. But if you want it to be behind the bar or the bars or the blocks or whatever you prefer, uh, you're gonna wanna drag the layer seven down to about here, and now it's behind it. And to rotate it, uh, you're gonna click Edit, Free Transform, or Control T. Now you just rotate it by bringing the mouse a little bit out of the box. Click the select tool again right here. Apply. And now you got, you know, the Twitter icon. Now we're going to add, uh, I guess, a Facebook one. Right click. Copy image. Go to Photoshop. Control V. And now it's already behind the layer so you don't have to do that. Or the blocks. And then you're gonna want to take the background again. Uh, ah, sorry. Take the bright guy. Ah, background away again. Sorry for my uh, accent, by the way. Um, and then just drag it to wherever you want. Again, you can rotate it, but I'm not, cause that looks pretty good. Or you know, put it over there. Guess I'll leave it. Uh, nah, yeah, I'll put it over there. Um, now I'm gonna add a text because I'm pretty sure you know how to add pictures in now and take away the white background and rotate and do all that. Um, you, all right, we're gonna do text now, and you're just gonna click the T. I'm pretty sure you know what that stands for. Click the button and drag the mouse away, and then type what you want. I'm gonna do Z Productions. Oh. All right, and um. Now we're gonna keep that uh, um, font, and I'm gonna just click this tool, bring it, and then click on the Z Productions right here, or whatever you called it. Right click it, blending options, click stroke, drop shadow, um, inner shadow, or whatever you want. Really, you can do this. Give that 3D one, which we should do, uh, or you can even click texture or do this or uh, that I'm gonna do this that looks pretty good alright and now to rotate it once again edit um, free transform and then rotate to however you like it select apply drag it to about there that looks really good. I mean, that looks professional to me. Uh, you can figure out how to uh, um, change the color of this on your own. <laughs> Sorry, I just I'm not too sure how to do that yet. 
I haven't played around with it enough, but I mean, this does look professional. It looks like something like they're a review for Apple or something like that. But uh, yeah, you can do anything with Photoshop basically and make really good layouts. And to download this layout or the what we started out with before with the black one, you're gonna download the file in the description and it's safe it's on Google sites don't worry about that uh, it's not on mecha upload or anything so you're safe just thought I'd put that out there all right um, and I apologize if I talk weird I apologize if I say um a lot or uh yeah and all right well subscribe if you liked it subscribe you don't have to really uh, be nice if you did <laughs> and if you did like it and you have a friend that need or has the same problem not knowing how to do this or you just got Photoshop, uh share it with them, that'd be nice. And um and if you want you can feature this video. I really don't care. But uh thanks for watching. I hope I didn't waste your time. I hope you enjoy making your backgrounds. It's pretty fun. Um so good day and well I hope you enjoy your day. It's Monday, so that sucks, but, uh, alright. Well, actually, before I go, I'm going to show you how to save it. I forgot to do that. Click File, Save As. Save it wherever you want. I'm going to save it on the desktop. Click this Format, and then change it to JPEG. And just keep the name, it'll be alright. OK, and then OK. Now go to your channel. See how this looks? My channel. This is the one I made earlier, by the way. Oh, sorry about that. I am so sorry. By the way, vote Game of the Month if you want. Uh, there should be a link actually on this video right now. You can click on it. It'll go to it. Uh, and click the game cases. Don't comment your vote. Click the game cases. Just just saying. All right, themes and colors. Show advanced options. Uh, I'm just going to delete that real fast. Now, browse and then YouTube layout. Let it load. Alright, there. That looks really good. That, I mean, I love that. That looks amazing. Alright, well, once again, I hope I didn't waste your time. Uh, subscribe, like it, comment, anything. Doesn't really matter. Uh, have a good day. I said that already. So I'm just going to go before I embarrass myself. Uh, Alright, subscribe.